he ended up into some cedar trees, which kind of acted as a ramp and launched him into the air and he ended up hitting a telephone pole. Bridget Gangsey was in high school when her dad rounded the curve on FM 32 and slid off the road. A lot of bruising, a lot of swelling. He didn't break anything, just he was just beat up pretty, pretty good. His car also took a beating. She remembers having to look at it mangled and parked outside for six months after the accident. You can see where the roads crumpled up there. That's that's where a lot of people run off. Her dad's accident was in 2005, but 15 years later, there is still a curve in the Comal County Road and not much between the road's edge and a ravine. Out here, there's just really not much shoulder, so there's not any room for forgiveness if you were to get off. So at 60 miles an hour, somebody coming around and over a hill, uh, there's not much time to react. There is also no guardrail, something many Comal County drivers and the fire chief would like to see. Those things have proven to be a benefit in reducing the number of um, ro or vehicles going down an embankment and such like. So absolutely, that would be an improvement over what's out there. The number of accidents on this stretch of FM 32 ranged from 13 to 18 in recent years, but last year, the number of accidents here jumped to 28. Here are the numbers for the last six years. Every time there is an accident that, that I hear about, I go to them and say, hey, here's some of the here's some of the observations of some of the people out there. We think that maybe this is an issue with the shoulder. We think maybe this is an issue with the curve. Precinct 4 Comal County Commissioner Jen Crownover has done multiple ride-alongs with the Texas Department of Transportation, hoping if they see the problem, they'll fix the problem. Further down the road, where FM 32 intersects with FM 484 and FM 3424, TxDOT does have plans to widen the road, add turn lanes and flashing beacons. They will also add a seal coat to this stretch of FM 32 next year, but at this time, TxDOT reported no plans to install a guardrail around the curve that has so many concerned. They need to do their jobs and fix the road. TxDOT declined an on-camera interview, but did send a written statement saying currently the number of incidents in this area have not warranted a major roadway widening. However, we will continue to monitor and submit this area for future projects as needed. Other contributing factors, oversized trucks and an increase in traffic in what Crownover says is the second fastest growing county in the nation. I'm News 4 troubleshooter April Molina.